Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to find the domain of the function f of x is equal to cosine x over 1 minus sine of x. So the only way we could have an invalid input for this function is if the denominator is equal to 0. The cosine function, the sine function, they can take any value. So this is the only restriction. 1 minus sine of x cannot equal 0. Solving for sine, or solving for x itself, not even solving for sine of x, we get one cannot be equal to sine of x. Now, there's no super easy way to solve this. You kind of just have to know your sine values, right? So, practice your unit circle. We get that x is not equal to pi over two. However, the sine function itself is periodic. Right? If we look at the general shape of the sine function, we see that it hits the same values more than once. So right here at pi over 2, we have x is equal to 1, or sorry, sine of x is equal to 1. That also happens here, and here, and here, and infinitely many times. So x is not equal to pi over 2 plus this distance plus 2 pi, or plus this distance again, plus 4 pi, plus 6 pi. Every 2 pi, you're going to get another invalid value because sine of x is going to be equal to 1. So how do we do this? We say plus 2 pi k, where k is any integer, right? k is any integer. Because when you plug in any integer k, you're going to get some multiple of 2 pi, which is the number of periods away, let's say 10 periods away, it's going to hit 1 again. That is how we get to this for any of these points on this periodic function. So this is the domain of f of x is equal to cosine x over 1 minus sine of x.